It can hold basically 44 minutes on each record. How much could be stored on the compact cassette? How many minutes? 45 minutes. So I'd need two of these or the two of these. Which one is a little bit easier to carry around? Two of these, right? Um, also, with the tape being contained inside the plastic and that kind of stuff, is it going to be harder for me to mess up the recordings that are on the tape? So it became, even though it's still analog, easier to store and easier to transmit repeatedly without messing up. It's also easier to lose. <laughs> yeah, it is easier to lose as well. Um, and then they were able to, because you couldn't put record players in a car, right? Because cars are moving and bumping all the time. This you could then put in a car um, as well. And so that was our compact set. It lasted for several decades. Um, they tried the 8-track because people didn't like the inconvenience when you played one side. You'd have to take it out, turn it around, and put it back in to get to the other songs. So they tried the 8-track, which you can see there's a twist in it. So it would basically play the other side. It could play continuously. But it, the tape would break and stuff like that. So it just didn't turn out, so it didn't stick around for very long. It was worth the inconvenience for this working better. But of course, people want things to get better and they want more. So then we start getting into digital. So if we've got that analog sound, instead of capturing everything in the path on the tape or on the carvings on the record, <coughs> um, how many samples are typically taken per second in digital recordings? 50,000. 50,000. Just a little bit less. And okay, if we can wait, I want to tie up how this is done real quick and then we'll look at a couple other things tomorrow. Is 50,000 pieces of music per second a lot of sound that's captured? Absolutely. That's an average recording, higher quality recordings, obviously, more samples, but then it takes more storage space in that digital format. So if you remember when we looked at these graphs the, um, the other day, it's kind of that idea. And. It actually gets carved on the discs. The carving or the land is a zero or a pit. Flat spot is a one. So only difference between a CD and a DVD is how small the carvings are. Same piece of plastic. Exactly same piece of plastic. Only difference between a DVD and a Blu-ray. Even smaller carvings for those ones are carved in there. Same piece of plastic, different sizes of carvings allow more data to be stored. You just have to have a smaller laser light to read this than the others.